you. Welcome to your capital. Believe it or not, we work for you. I don't know if you heard that or not, but uh, that, that, that means that we shouldn't work for any uh, groups that have an extreme agenda, uh, that we should not work for any particular uh, faith group, um, that we should really be up here thinking about rights, because fundamentally the story of American history is about expanding and protecting the rights of people. And there was a hard-fought battle uh, during the suffrage movement to give women the rights that they deserve. And every generation has had its struggle uh, to increase and to protect those rights. What we have seen in this building over and over is an attempt to undermine rights, an, an attempt to really take away rights, an attempt to create a second class of people who uh, need decisions made for them, uh, regardless of circumstances, regardless of health issues, regardless of socioeconomic situation. Um, and we think that that battle, the battle that you hear that Representative Egoff talking about that takes place in the Judiciary Committee and the Public Affairs Committee for every session, that we need warriors on the front line, um, like the, the men and women who sit on those committees with me, who have to beat back all these really ill-advised, poorly thought out, some are well-intentioned, but they frankly do not take into account the reality and the facts of what uh, what the basics of reproductive health are, what the reality of many women in this state are, um, and they really come from this sort of top-down idea that we need to, we know what's best for you. We know what's best for you. Well, I disagree, because I frankly have no clue what it's like to have, as to be a woman, to have to make the most basic choice ever, probably the most important choice that most women will have to make and frankly, I don't think it's my right to do to tell you that regardless of situation or circumstances or health considerations or your relationship with your um, whatever you believe in, your God, that I should be able to trump that as a policymaker, especially as a male policymaker. I don't believe it's right. I don't believe it's American. Uh, and I believe it's, it undermines our values. So. There's a larger issue here that seems to get lost in the conversation in extremes, right? Which the, the religious right is, can, continues to perpetuate, which is we need to support, to fund, to invest in reproductive health, but all health for women, especially young women, especially young mothers, especially for struggling families, because there isn't a person in this room there isn't a person in this room who would not like us to see less unwanted pregnancies. We want less abortions. We want less unwanted pregnancies. We all believe that. Does anybody disagree with me on that? So, as we come to these very, very tough, very personal decisions, we have to respect the basic right and the basic ability of women to make the most important decision uh, in their life and, um, and to empower them with good health care, with good prevention, with good family planning advice, with centers they can go to for that advice that don't push them in a certain direction and give them good, objective advice about what their rights are. So, look, we're going to get the same on proposals uh, coming to our committees again and we need your help to be in those rooms to say, look, there's a whole other consideration here. Um, and there's a lot of uh, families and a lot of women who really need uh, you to be understanding the depth of this issue. And I hope that, as I've often said to my friends on, who, who are very much concerned about um, uh, their own view of, of, of the issue of reproductive health, that I hope that they bring the same fervor, the same passion, to investing in those young mothers, to those young children through programs that would make them healthy and make them safe and give them health care and give them Medicaid funding and give them WIC and give them potential jobs, affordable housing and support their families because the truth is if there were more families who thought they could make it, who weren't facing dire circumstances then I think we all believe that we would, that all families and all kids would be better. So let's, let's hope we get the same numbers when we're debating the budget on Medicaid and on WIC and on, 
breastfeeding as we do when we fill the rooms with people who are anti-choice. Thank you for your work. Thank you for all the hard work and your leadership. Stay tuned. Keep coming back. I hope I see you in committee. I'm headed up to the judiciary right now, and I invite you all to come and get to know that committee. It's an important committee for reproductive health and for women's rights. Thank you for all your work. Keep up the great work.